he a good kisser? No, Jesus. he's got this really lovely um, Easy. breath spray. Oh. That, um, <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's got this, it tastes uh, like yeah, Christmas. Yeah, breath spray, yes, it's like he's uh, just eating a candy cane. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at celebrities thirsting over Will Smith. We'll also be sharing some interesting facts about his career. So let's get this started. Like when we were in Argentina and I was upset that I was missing out on Christmas back home, he found a Christmas tree in Argentina somehow mm. and bought the de decoration so yeah. I could put up a Christmas tree. Very thoughtful. Will Smith is bilingual. While he's not fluent in Spanish, he can speak it very well. He's also uploaded Instagram videos singing the 1958 hit La Bamba and other Spanish songs like X by Nicky Jam featuring J Balvin. Seeing a young black man in that space, top line a studio movie, become the global movie star that he became, really did a lot to change our perception and change the, the culture. And so I would hope that he would see that there's an opportunity to do this again with me and that he's happy for me. And yeah. I also am such a fan of his. I have been since Prince of Bel Air. So I want a chance to meet him again because it's been since I was like a tiny baby. So we'll see. We bet you can't imagine anyone other than Keanu Reeves as Neo in The Matrix, but it was Will Smith who was initially offered the role. He stands by his decision even now because he believed he wasn't mature enough to pull off Neo. They have to compete with you. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. You look thank really good. Really, really, really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Imagine if Will had been Mr. Smith alongside Angelina Jolie instead of Brad Pitt. Will was considered to play the character in Mr. and Mrs. Smith, while the female lead would have been Catherine Zeta-Jones. We were working on seven pounds. Will pulled in as I was coming out of my trailer, which was a honey wagon. Mm -hmm. The very next day, I go to my trailer and they said, oh, you, you've been moved. And I had been put into like this triple bank. Mm -hmm. And the AD told me that Will had changed my trailer, wow. upgraded my trailer. Wow. Will has been in eight consecutive movies that each made at least $100 million. These include I Am Legend, Bad Boys 2, I, Robot, Hitch, and The Pursuit of Happiness. How impressive. He's someone, I say, like, he is the least disappointing super su yes. superstar to ever meet. That's so right. I highly recommend meeting Will Smith. He will, not, he will not let you down. Will wrote a song for his first child, Trey, called Just the Two of Us when his son was just six years old. It was an R&B track about the relationship between a father and his son. Trey even appeared in the music video. I'm gonna give you one good moment about Will Smith. Okay, tell me. It's a genuine moment. The reason why I approach my international structure the way I do, and trying to make my movies a success, because of the model that this man set. People don't know, you only got two guys that went out and did it the way that they did. Mm -hmm. Tom Cruise, Will Smith. Mm -hmm. I patterned everything after Will Smith, man. He is Philadelphia the stand up. See that? See that right there? See that right there? That. Gave him a golden moment. See what you Will's character in The Pursuit of Happiness was a whiz at solving Rubik's Cubes. That is now one of Will's real-life talents after learning from speed cubing champions to prepare for the role. Will even solved a Rubik's Cube on live TV in 55 seconds. Will is an avid chess player. He was taught by his father and passed those lessons on to his kids. Will sees chess as similar to life. Once you make your move, you can't undo it. The universe will then respond. And I just heard, Fresh Prince Ali! <laughs> and he'd literally, on the demo, done fresh... Like, he'd said Fresh Prince Ali. And I was like... Just to delight if, everyone? If I could not love him more, I just was like, you are just the best. He loves, loves being Will Smith. There's a... Will became a millionaire right before he could legally drink. He and DJ Jazzy Jeff released their first album as a hip-hop duo right after Will graduated high school. It ended up going triple platinum. Will's opportunity to star in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air came after he had most of his belongings seized by the IRS. Will had blown the money he had made from his music with DJ Jazzy Jeff and didn't have any left to pay his taxes. I love, I love um, working with Will. I had, we, we did a couple of days on I Am Legend and um, got on very well and could play very well together for some reason or other. It just must be something to do with energies. It's always to do with the way in which your energy works with another person's energy. And our energies seem to meet and spark and work very, very well together. 
Will's least favorite movie he'd acted in was Wild Wild West. He was upset that it was number one at the box office on its opening weekend because he thought that it was a really bad movie. While Jaden Smith was filming The Karate Kid, Will and the whole family moved to Beijing for three months. Will and Jada Pinkett Smith were also part of the production team for the movie. Thinking I'm jumping in the SUV with them and all their security. I'm gonna fill our presidential, you know, sure. black, black money. Right. And so, um, <laughs> all of a sudden, Will comes running out of the hotel, jumps in the back seat of my little twenty dollar a day rental, and he's like, "Whoa, it's been years since I've been in a regular car." <laughs> the Smiths own a forty-two million dollar mansion in Calabasas with its own zip code. The estate took seven years to build and features a private recording studio and meditation room. It also has the set for the family's talk show, Red Table Talk. Did you know Will and Jada have Japanese toilets in their Calabasas home? They're paperless and rely solely on water and air. They even clean and dry you. But they do have some normal ones for guests who just prefer toilet paper. Um, so it's great to have an opportunity to do some more because we only had a couple of days on Legend and here we've got, you know, a much bigger patch and it's all, it's all full on stuff and um, it's been bliss. He's the most wonderful man. Will and his son Jaden love vampires, especially the shows Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. Jaden once claimed he used to be a vampire and that's why he wore black and didn't go out in the sun. Will and Jada are majority owners of the Philadelphia 76ers basketball team. Will grew up in Philadelphia and loved the team from when he was a teenager. Who knew he'd end up getting so close with them? Everyone says they're a Will Smith fan. My brother, like he knows the deep cuts of his albums, you mm -hmm. know, and you know, he had a life-size cardboard cutout of Will Smith in his room up until the age of like 20, <laughs> still now. He's married and he still has it now. Like Will and Jada opened a private elementary school in Calabasas, California in 2009. There was a lot of controversy surrounding it because people thought the school would teach Scientology. The couple ended up closing down the school in 2013. Will and his manager James Lasseter started a production company called Overbrook Entertainment in 1998. He named it after his West Philadelphia High School. His wife, Jada, is also a partner in the company. 22 of Will's movies made a combined total of almost $3 billion at the box office in the United States alone. What's your favorite Will Smith movie? Rehearsal time with Will Smith and Josh and see them finding their characters and Will refinding his character. So for me, that was, you know, a great boon and really amazing. So the environment was incredibly creative and incredibly collaborative. And, you know, sometimes Will would rap for us and that would break tension and then we'd start working again. And that wraps up our video. What do you think of Will Smith? Let us know and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more binge-worthy videos like this. See you soon! It was my 50th birthday and, you know, she was in this, like, you know, real fit of, of just emotion and she realized, oh man, we've been together for more than half our lives and I love you so much. And she committed and she was like, I'll do anything you want for your 50th birthday. And I was like, I want you to go skydiving with me. And she was like, how is that what you want for your birthday? Yeah. <laughs>